right, let's get this image up here. Um, so it's going to go in the header area. And I'll use the background shortcut. And let's get out of the CSS folder first and go into images and that's the blue mountain range and that will be a no repeat and let's set the uh, background size to cover whoops look at that I like that the white it shows as white text when I've made a mistake There it is. Let's take a peek at that. Great. And it resizes. Awesome. All right, let's get these little birds in here, the ones that are right here. Let's get those in. And I know we've been practicing absolute positioning, so let's put them in the HTML. I wouldn't really do it like this. Neither would Valerie Green, she tells me. But since we're practicing absolute positioning, I don't know why that path isn't finishing for me. And I'll give it an alt tag. Bird one. And I'll just copy this. And make that bird two. Let's do a save and a refresh and see what it's looking like. There's bird one. Why is bird two not in there? Oh, because it says 12. Save and refresh. All right, there's bird one and two. Now let's reduce them and position them. Right, so I'm back here in Photoshop because I need to measure these birds and I'm not going to be too precise about it because it doesn't really matter. But, uh, and let's see, there's my zero, 100. Yeah, it looks like 100. So I'll just say over here on my CSS, Um, the things in the header that are images, uh, no, I want to say width, hundred px, save and refresh. There, that size is close enough for our purposes today. All right, so let's actually, in order to position them, I'm going to have to come down here to the index and give these birds some IDs. So, so I can use them on the style sheet. Oops, ID equals Bird one. It's creative, isn't it? ID equals bird two. And then save and we'll come over to the CSS. And let's do some styling for uh, we'll do it up here. And Let's 
So actually, I think I'll move these up here near the image. And then I will say in the for all images will be position position absolute. And I'll jump over to Photoshop and just get some X and Y coordinates here. It's going to be about 175. All right. Um, bird one, we'll say top. 75 pixels down from the top, and from the left, 100. Let's see what that's looking like. So you can see this bird moved over. He's 175 down from the top and 100 over from the left. So we'll bring the other one a little further down, maybe 100 down, and a little more to the left, maybe 125. I don't know if that's perfect, but I just want you to see how this is done. Maybe you'll choose to make it more perfect in your practice exercise. Save and refresh. Oh, well, let's scoot him just a little bit more to the left and a little bit less down. I don't think that's really great, but we could mess with this for quite a while. It's not bad. We could mess with it for quite a while before it looks right. That's great. Let's start the next. We'll, we'll do another video to get these floats in and to get this link over here.